Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to hop on and do a rather large unboxing of an order that I placed in Fossil's summer sale. But before I get started, I do wanna say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. Um, so this is, this massive box. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a really large box because I did order two bags as well as a little wallet for my husband. So just take in the stuff off. Okay, so you can see the bags in there. So there are the two bags there. Let's see if I can find the wallet first. So I guess the wallet that I ordered for my husband is not in here. So I'm gonna go check after I film this video to see where that is, like what the shipping information is. I could have sworn it was the same tracking number as this one, but I guess not. Um, so I'll start with this one. This is the Fossil GG Crossbody. I think it was around $70 in the sale. Um, I really like this bag because it has a really pretty pleating detail. Okay, so just... Um, it is a little smaller than I expected, which is good because it does look pretty big in the online um, description or pictures. That leather is a nice, beautiful, smooth leather. It's really soft. It actually reminds me of the leather on my Coach Starjess crossbody in that it's like soft and smooth. It does feel like it might get scratched a little easily, but it is really pretty. The back has a slip pocket with a magnetic button closure. Um, it's nice uh, flat bag. The opening is a little weird. I hadn't expected it to look like this. Um, you have these leather loops that are holding the strap and then the flap itself is a little bit smaller than the actual like size of the bag, if you can see that, um, which I don't think I noticed in the pictures. But let's see, opening it up, the inside is your typical fossil inside. You have that back zip pocket and then you have a slip pocket on this side. It's a really pretty bag, but the opening is really tight. Uh, there's like no give at all. And I wonder if when I'm wearing it crossbody, that's gonna be fine because like, you know, I can just slip my hand in if it's gonna be on my side or if that's gonna be annoying because I can't get the flap out of the way and I can't make this like wide enough to see into it. Um, but the leather is really, really nice. It's very pretty. And like I said, I really like that pleating detail here. I think it makes it look just a little bit more feminine and kind of interesting of a bag rather than just kind of your standard flap crossbody. It is flat on the back and like domed in the front, which again, I'm not sure I realize. It's kind of like, I think this is like a saddle bag in, in that sense because I think saddle bags are like flat on the back, right? And then they have like, you know, shaping on the front. Um, yeah, I'm on the fence now. I was kind of sure I was gonna keep both bags um, even though I, promised myself I would only keep one. Um, but now I think this one looks like it might be a little annoying to use, but we'll see. So the next drag that I got is the Fossil Brook Satchel. Um, there's been like two videos about this bag on YouTube. It's similar in spirit to the Coach Rogue or the Coach Dreamer in that it's like this rather large satchel style, but you have your top handle and your shoulder slash crossbody strap. And I'm really hoping the leather on this bag feels like the leather on that Gigi because that leather was really nice. All right, so this is the Brook Satchel. It is kind of large. It's pretty heavy because it's fully stuffed right now. The leather is not necessarily as soft as the Gigi bag. It's like a little bit, I don't know. It looks the same, I guess, on camera, but it feels like less smooth. Maybe you can tell by looking at them side by side, you can see that the Leather on the Gigi is, has like less texture, I guess, than the Brook Satchel, which kind of makes sense because on the Gigi bag, you would want it to be softer so you can get that pleating detail versus the Brook Satchel because it is kind of a more structured bag. You would want maybe a tougher, um, more treated leather. I'm not sure. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is that this was, you know, packaged like this. And as a result, there is a mark in the leather here where that little tag, or you know, the this is the leather strap that's holding on to the fossil key charm that has dug into the leather here, leaving kind of an indent. I'm not sure if it's that big of a deal. It would probably work its way out, but it is there and I do notice it, um, which is kind of unfortunate. 
um, especially like right there on the front of the bag. But you can kind of get a sense for what the bag looks like now. The shoulder strap is there, uh, diagonal on the uh, top of the bag. And then you have your two top handle straps here. I just took off the uh, crossbody strap so that I could more easily kind of work my way around the bag. You can see, uh, I don't know, it doesn't look great. <laughs> like, like this should be maybe more flat, but again, maybe it's just stuffed in a weird way. So if I open it up, the zipper did feel like it was caught on something, but it's probably just caught on the tissue paper on the inside. All right, so I took all the stuffing out and this is what the inside looks like. You have two slip pockets there. One is generous, it has a gusset, and the other one is kind of more flat, but it's like wider that way. Then you have your zip on the back there, and then that's what the bag looks like, just kind of standing up. Um, the zipper looks less, no, I mean, it's still kind of, do you see that right there? It's like kind of falling in on itself. Not the best look. Um, there are no feet, which doesn't necessarily bother me because I don't really tend to put my bags like on the floor or anything. Um, and then you have these two rather like large slip pockets. They have a gusset on the side. So I, you know, I would be able to fit my wallet and my key case in here just fine. And then my phone on the back one so that like everything could be super easy access. Um, these magnets don't feel extremely strong. Um, and I have to line them up well to get them to snap. And let's see about this one. Yeah, the magnets don't feel that strong. Uh, which is a little bit disappointing, I guess. It's kind of a heavy bag, which I, you know, one would expect because it is a large bag, fully, fully made out of leather. Um, I'm wondering if, I don't know, maybe this will like sink in over time so that you won't get that weird like, do you see that where it like is popping in? Um, I don't know. It's uh, a good sized bag, like it would fit certainly like a water bottle. So just so you can kind of see a comparison, this is a 16 ounce bottle of Coke and that would fit in there just fine. So you'd be able to fit like a water bottle and snacks and everything you'd need for like a day out. Um, it is, I don't know, it's a cute bag. Do I like it as much in person as I did looking online? I'm not sure. Um, I do like the nice wide opening like that, and I guess if I kept it open, which is what I usually do with bags that are like this, um, the zipper wouldn't necessarily bother me as much. I do, yeah, I like how wide it opens. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, if it's between keeping the Fossil Brook Satchel or the GG Crossbody, which one would you keep? If either, would you return them both? I do think the leather on the Gigi crossbody is nicer, um, but I wonder how easy it will be to use. So I'll play around with that, I think, once I stop filming. Um, but the Brooks satchel does, while I don't love that, how it's popping in, it does look like a very useful size. Um, and kind of a size I don't necessarily have in my collection, although I could use this as well as kind of a nice understated crossbody. So ultimately, I have reached no conclusion. But yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think, which one you would keep, if any, if any, uh, and I will see you next time. Bye.